Like I said today, we're gonna show you how to make tortellini, which is a kind of full pasta. So first, we're gonna sort of by laminating our pasta dough. This is just a basic pasta dough. It consists of 100 grams of bread flour, and then also one egg, a little bit of salt, and just a sprinkle of olive oil. We're gonna repeat this step for three, three times just to make the dough nice and pliable and elastic to make it easier to work with. And we're just gonna adjust it. Just make sure you dust your pasta dough with a little bit of flour prevent it from sticking to the machine. Just shake off all the excess flour. And then with each roll you're gonna adjust the little knob here to bring the rolls closer to each other to realize your pasta nice and thin. And the history of tortellini is quite interesting. It was in a small town in Italy where a lady checked into a little small country hotel. And then the innkeeper at the hotel peeked through her key keyhole of her room. And he saw her navel and was so spellbound by her beauty that he ran down to the kitchen and decided to make this dish for her. <laughs> and then the last one. There we go. Then our next step, we're just going to use a cookie cutter and then punch out like that. And then what we decided to use for our filling today is just roast butternut squash with a little bit of nutmeg, salt and pepper and a small cube of butter. I'm just going to roll it like this. And just make sure you're not using too much filling. Otherwise you're going to struggle to properly seal the pasta and it's just going to burst open once you've launched them. And then we're just going to use a little bit of water which is going to act like a glue to glue the two sides together. Just make sure your fingers are nice and dry and clean, it's just like a little flour. And then we're just going to fold it into like a half moon shape pushing out the air from the filling outside words. and then place it in the middle of your thumb sticking a little bit of water holding the top end and then the bottom end and then just press it together 
all the edges. And then that looks like a little navel. And then on here we just have a little bit of semolina just to prevent the pasta from sticking to the dish. And there we go, there's our tortellini. We're just going to blanch them now. And we're just going to take them gently. Onto there. And then put it in our water. So this step doesn't take long at all. And it takes a couple of seconds. And you'll see when they pop up, they're ready to be taken out. And now we can take them out. And then into some ice water just to stop the cooking process immediately, otherwise the pasta will go soggy. It's going to start tearing. Get a nice pan on there. And then over here we have some sage and pine nuts, which we're going to make a burn rosette with, which is a burnt butter or flavoured butter. And don't be shy with it. And then over here we have a Napolitana sauce, which is a tomato sauce. You can see the eat it up. And then I'm just going to take them out. Put it in here just to pick up all that wonderful flavour. Time to dish it up. Take the Napolitana sauce and make a little drag. And then we're going to take our pasta. Sage leaves just as a garnish. And I'm going to take a little bit of this butter with a pine nut. Just drizzle it over the top. And then we have a smoked ghost cheese mousse here just to accompany all those wonderful flavours. And there we go. Butternut squash tortellini.